On SpaceX IFD-8, ship was lost around the same time as it was lost on IFD-7. But comparing the telemetry in detail, there are a couple silver linings. Ship 34 was going slightly higher and slower, but we've seen variations like this from flight to flight before. However, the engines do continue to burn for 20 seconds longer on IFD-8 before the first one cuts out. On IFD-7, it was a sea level engine that cut out first, and on IFD-8, it was a vacuum engine. The sea level engines are actually the most important ones because those are the ones that gimbal and can control the attitude of the ship. IFD-8 quickly loses all three center engines, at which point the thrust is off center and it has no way to compensate. In comparison, IFD-7 has one center engine that must have gimbaled towards the engines that were out because the attitude looks relatively stable. But then 18 seconds later, IFD-7 loses attitude control and telemetry freezes almost immediately after that. So hopefully SpaceX now has one minute and six seconds of additional telemetry to analyze. Thanks for watching this video all the way through. The YouTube algorithm likes that the most. If you'd like to see more of this content, please subscribe and like and comment as well.